Hey everybody, Unworthy Creeper here, and today I will be doing tips, tricks, and tutorials on Medieval Dynasty as I could not find any informative videos out there. And if I did, they were very vague. So I decided to compile a list of things I thought you guys might find helpful to cover. If there's anything else you'd like to know, please comment below and I will do the best I can to help you out. First, you're going to need a simple bag. Simple bag's decently easy to make. Many people get it confused with having a, uh, a sack, a bag sack that you buy. Uh, what you're going to need for this is just three leather, simple leather, right here. And then you're going to need the seating of your choice. It depends on the season. I can't tell you exactly what is what for season. But today we are going to be planting wheat. So anyway, let's start. First you're going to go into crafting. You're going to go into a farm. You're going to put your plot of land. Now, the bigger you make it, the more taxes you are going to have to pay. For this tutorial though, we're just going to show you. Next, you're going to have to make a wooden hoe. Pretty easy to make. Uh, wooden hoe. One log, ten sticks, not hard to do. Next, you're going to till your land. Okay. It's going to look like this. Next, you can take your fertilizer. You can buy it from the farmhand at the first village. You're going to let or right click, select it, choose fertilizer. And then left click, you're going to sprinkle it on there. Little little happy. Little happy little happy poo poo. Okay? And next, if I can ever get to it, <laughs> you can take your hoe and you go and till that field. Okay? And then what you're gonna take, you can pull your bag out, select your uh your piece. And you're just going to sprinkle it on there. Okay? And then it'll give you a visual. And then you wait all season until uh, sometime in the next. And you'll be good. Now. You're going to need a scythe if you're going to do wheat. But the perks of doing wheat are you can take it to the barn and add it right here to the threshing floor and you can get plenty of wheat to make food and straw for your buildings so now hunting 101 now I have a bow you guys are gonna start off with a spear first but if you generally go for the head of the neck you will one hit it. Now say you throw your spear or shoot your arrow into a deer. Oh no, where'd it go? I lost it. I'm not tracking it. You press alt. You'll bring up your, uh, I forget what it's called, but it'll highlight. So you can kind of track your prey. It's also used for, for gathering, uh, herbs and stuff. Now I recommend when you're first starting out, craft about seven spears because you can just chuck the ever living hell out of them at what you're hunting and it helps to crouch too you get up closer that way all right now that we've shown you farming we're gonna show you how to make the most nutritious stew in the game food at the relatively cheap cost so what you're going to need is three carrots, one meat, and you get stew. And it gives 35 nutrition per. Now, you can easily make a small field, two rows or so, and you'll get roughly about 40 to 50 carrots. I, on this little field right here, get about 200. Okay, so basically what you're going to do 
is you're gonna go in your menu and look for the stew. And bada bing, bada boom. Now, if you're having trouble getting meats, I'd recommend crafting a hair trap. Uh, that way, you get one to two meats a day while you're off doing your thing. And then you're gonna wanna store all your food in a food storage. A food storage. as things degrade a lot slower and this is how your villagers will eat as well alright so you're wondering how to get a bunch of massive amounts of logs but you can't hardly carry crap and you've pretty much decimated the area you live in there's not my village my village is right over there that I'm building so anyway I'm gonna show you it takes to the end of the season in order to do this because at the each end of a season no matter where you sleep you end back up in your house okay so what you're gonna do for starters is you are going to build a campfire Let's see make sure it's not too close to a village and then we will flash over to uh, collecting logs after it's all done all right, so we're at the end of the day at the start of the next season. So basically, got 31 logs, 35. You see how much weight I have, 148 out of 40. I ain't going nowhere. Basically, 611 gold now because I found another little berry bush. Now remember, you don't need to eat or drink beforehand because you will wake up with full health in the next sleep cycle. So, you go to sleep. And you'll wake back up in your house. If you want to collect money and you're not sure how in the beginning, I recommend finding berries. You could literally sit here for two three minutes and they're worth one gold a piece and you could make three four hundred gold all right so as you see within two minutes 237 berries 237 gold right off the bat another quick way to make money is crafting wooden spears if you're in a pinch and can't find berries and are in seasons such as winter they're a great way once you start off the game to immediately start making some money as well Stone axes are also another great way to make some money. They're relatively cheap and simple to make, requiring two rocks and ten sticks. Alright, so you got all these stumps from being a lumberjack and uh, chopping down the environment. So, you need to build things for your village. How do you do it? Well, you're going to need a shovel. You're going to need a workshop first. Just right there to make a shovel. So anyway, you go up to the lot, the, the stump, and bada bing, bada boom. All right, everybody. Um, I hope this guide was very helpful. If uh, you have anything, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and take care. I'll have some more videos in the future. Do 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 do.